first thing we're going to do is trace one of our hands horizontally, which is sideways. I want you to hold your pencil nice and tight and keep it upright, nice and tall, rather than on an angle sideways, or else your fingers will be a little bit too skinny. Once your pencil returns back to your wrist, I want you to lift your hand up and then connect the two points with a curved line. Now we're going to trace a second hand. I want you to place it vertically this time, which is straight up and down. You're going to spread your fingers out a little bit so that it's not too squashed. And when you get to the end, you're going to connect that curved line again. Now using a black texture, you're going to trace over the top of all of your grey lead lines nice and carefully so that you've gone all the way around both hands with your black texture. I'm going to turn this hand into a sea creature by adding some eyes and a smiley mouth. wonder if you can guess what creature I've made. That's right, it's a jellyfish. Once you've finished drawing your jellyfish's face, you need to trace the second hand with your black texture, nice and carefully, all the way around with your black texture. wonder what we could turn this hand into. I think I'm going to add some lips and an eye and a fin to draw a fish. Now I'm going to draw some lines and shapes and patterns on all of the fingers so that my fish has a fancy tail. Once your two sea creatures are complete, you could add some scenery, some sand, some seaweed, some water, all of those under the water background details. Don't forget to add lots of colour. You can use texture or coloured pencils so that your sea creatures really come to life. If you're super lucky, you might even have some paint that you could use. Thank you.